Welcome back to DIY December, everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend, and I hope you're ready for six brand new videos this week. This first one is going to be another holiday recipe, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with puppy chow because I feel like puppy chow is a staple holiday treat, and everyone seems to love it. So that's what I'm going to be making today, but I'm putting my own little spin on it. And if you don't know what puppy chow is, you will see in a second. It's freaking delicious and it's super super easy to make so I am going to be making a chocolate hazelnut version And it's gonna be fun and festive So yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started for this recipe You're going to need some rice check cereal chocolate chips powdered sugar chocolate hazelnut butter And I'm using Justin's chocolate hazelnut butter, but you can also use Nutella I just like using this because I think it has a good flavor and it has a lot less sugar in it and then some butter and an optional ingredient some M&Ms and these are red and green holiday M&Ms. I'm going to start off with half a cup of chocolate chips so I'm just pouring these guys out then putting that into a microwave safe bowl. I'm also going to need half a cup of the chocolate hazelnut butter so I'm just getting it out of the container here. This doesn't need to be super exact, but you just need about half a cup. Once that's all measured out, I'm just gonna add that in with the chocolate chips. And not gonna lie, I'm definitely gonna lick my fingers and the spoon right now. And then the last thing we're gonna add in to this bowl, two tablespoons of butter. So this is going to go into the microwave and you wanna microwave this in 20 to 30 second intervals until everything is melted. So once the 20 or 30 seconds is up, you wanna pull it out, stir it a little bit, and then put it in for another 20 to 30 seconds until it's all nice and liquidy. So this is what it looks like after the first 30 seconds in the microwave so I'm just giving it a good little stir here and then back in the microwave it goes this is round two in the microwave and I think we're just gonna need one more after this stir all right our chocolate is finished and as you can see it's nice and melted and smooth and creamy so I'm just going to set this aside for a second and now it's time for the cereal so I'm going to be using about four and a half cups of the Chex cereal this is two cups right here another two cups right there and the last little bit like that so now we're gonna take our chocolate and just dump it over the top and I'm going to use a big spoon to just gently mix this all together and you want to be careful because you don't want to crush the cereal so you really want to get down in there, scoop it up, flip it over, but just be gentle, don't like stab it or anything. So you wanna coat this really well. So that looks pretty good, and I'm just gonna set this aside now. And now I'm gonna bring in a plastic bag, and you want to get one that has a good closure on it. So just make sure that whatever you're using, you can close it nice and tight, so you're not gonna make a mess. I have my powdered sugar here, so I'm just starting off with one cup, and I like to use a lot of powdered sugar, so I'm just starting with that and then I'm gonna bring the cereal back over and this just looks like a mess waiting to happen doesn't it so that's why you want to make sure that this bag can be sealed nice and tightly so I'm just gonna scoop up the cereal and put it into the bag if you can't fit it all in at one time it's totally fine because you can just do this in different rounds so I'm just gonna fit as much as I can in this bag if you want to make more of this you can definitely like double or triple this recipe if you want to make a lot this is quite a bit right here so this would definitely feed like several people or maybe a couple people if you really like puppy chow then just zip it up I'm just gonna carefully press out some of the air Zip it up so it's nice and secure, and then it's time to shake. So I'm just gonna shake this until 
it's all coated. And this is a really fun thing to do with like friends or kids because it's super easy and you kind of get to make a mess, but it's like a controlled mess. So this is what it looks like when you're finished and now it's time for the M&M. So I'm just gonna take a few of these M&Ms and sprinkle them over the top just to make this look a little bit more festive. And there it is, that is the finished puppy chow. Once you're finished making the puppy chow, you can serve it up or you can put it into a little jar like this one and wrap it up and make it into a cute little gift. You can give this to people at work, to your school friends, to family. It's just such a versatile gift and it's super easy to make. So you can get like a mason jar or a bigger jar like this. I just got this from Target, but you can also get mason and jars off of Amazon. They also have them at Target now. And I just got this fun little ribbon and tied a bow around it. And I layered the puppy chow in the container. So it's like puppy chow, M&Ms, puppy chow, M&Ms. And it just makes it really festive and fun and people will go through this in no time because it is so tasty. That is gonna be it for my puppy chow recipe and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you would like to see another puppy chow recipe, let me know down below in the comments because I have one that is totally different from this one. So completely different flavors and if you would like to see how to make it, I can show you guys in a future DIY December video. Be sure to send in your photos if you make this because I want to see your puppy chow. So use the hashtag DIYDecember so I can find your photos on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!